Ah, the great British banger. Or the lovely salami. Or the battered saveloy. H hang on, just what is a sausage and why do they taste so good? The concept of sausages goes back to antiquity. Stuffing animal guts with a meat, fish or sweet batter mixture was an obvious and practical way to make easily cooked, transportable food. Originally, they were seen as small puddings. A large pudding was a haggis, done in a stomach rather than a length of gut, and, like puddings, they were often boiled rather than fried. The French word for sausage, boudin, even gave us British the word pudding, since early puddings were sausages, and sausages really were a type of pudding. Sometimes they were smoked or air-dried to keep through winter. Everywhere, though, for those who could afford it, a spiced fresh meat sausage was a pretty staple item. Even for those who couldn't afford good meat and fine spice, sausages were about from very early on. There was a play called The Sausage Cellar, written in the 5th century BC, and already then the lower-grade sausage had a whiff of uncertain meat disguised with judicious sauce about it. In the medieval era, northern wetter climes such as the UK developed a speciality in fresh meat sausages to be cooked before eating. Elsewhere, in dry climates such as the Mediterranean, which had good stiff breezes and mountains, dried or smoked sausages were more popular. There, they would cure properly and not simply go green as they would in Britain. There were still mixtures with fish, fruit and blood, black pudding for example, but as the centuries rolled on, most European sausages became based on a mixture of pork, pork fat and flavourings. They were not posh, and by the 18th century they rarely appeared at the dinner tables of the wealthy, though they happily ate them as suppers and snacks, but they were very popular and available for almost every possible budget. Mass production became possible by the mid-Victorian times and even cheaper sausages came out, with a hefty filler of bread or rusk. Savaloys in particular gained a reputation for being based on off-cuts and filler, or indeed horse meat and sawdust in some people's view. Then, as now, the dirt-cheap versions rubbed shoulders with the more expensive ones, until the First World War, when meat shortages meant that no-one got much meat in their casings. One theory as to why they became known as bangers shortly after the war is that the level of filler meant they banged and popped when fried. However, it's just as likely to come from their shape, which resembled shell casings, not least as they were still often boiled to cook them. Normally, they are cylindrical, but they can, on occasion, be square, like a lawn. Today, 85% of Brits regularly consume sausages, plain, as bangers and mash, or as toad in the hole. Though globally, it's the cocktail sausage which is the king for a bite-sized piece of porky glory. Small or large, contents as you wish. We've had sausages for thousands of years, and they are clearly here to stay. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that, be sure to check out these videos next, and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and click the bell to get a notification each time we upload a new video.